Ating i-upgrade ang luma at mabagal na laptop na ito. This is Asus X543M. It has a Pentium operating system and it has a 2GB of RAM and it has 500GB of hard disk. Panahon na po ngayon ng Windows 11. So yung mga ganitong mga specs ng laptop ay hindi na po nababagay. And uh, sila po ay may tuturing na mabagal na. Alright, so para hindi magpalit ang customer ng laptop kasi malang laptop ngayon, all we have to do is to upgrade this laptop into the to the maximum uh, capacity or the maximum ability na pwede niyang gawin. Alright, so, suway ba niya ako? Okay, so para bumilis ang laptop na ito, ang pinakauna na aking nirecommend ay ang SSD. Okay, so ang ating SSD ngayon ay uh, Ramsta brand. This is 512 gigabytes kita niyo naman guys no? ang SSD po kasi ay 5 times faster sa regular na hard disk so ganito po yung nakalagay sa inyong mga laptops pagka ang inyong mga laptop ay luma ganito nakalagay ganito ang nakalagay so this one is a hard disk dito nakasave lahat ng mga files po ninyo lahat ng inyong mga applications mga programs operating system so pag ito ang nasira wala na patay na And mabagal ito, this one only transfers 100 megabits per second. So pag ganito pa rin ang gamit ng inyong laptop, mabagal na sa panahon nga ng Windows 10. So I suggest na para bumilis yung mga laptop ninyo, kahit pa Core i series yan, kung naka hard disk pa rin kayo, well, mabagal po yan. So ang solution dyan is to upgrade into an SSD. So any brand, any reputable brand will do. This brand is uh, considered high-end na. 3 years warranty ito mga guys and uh, ginagamit ito ng mga nagpapabuild ng uh, gaming PC and then uh, comparable na ito sa mga brands na uh, Gigabyte, uh, WD yung mga ganun na brand um, Samsung yan. okay so mas maganda dito mas mura to kaysa sa mga uh, branded yung mga binabayaran mula mga pangalan nila okay so i-upgrade natin to laptop na ito sa SSD para maging responsive po siya at ang the best dyan uh, hindi nagtipid yung ating customer kaya meron din siyang budget para i-upgrade yung laptop niya sa 8GB of memory naman no? okay. ba galing from 2GB ng memory sa kanyang laptop gagawin natin siyang 8GB no, galing diba alright so sige lalagay natin itong mga to matamahalan uh, nga lang guys ang pag-upgrade ng memory at saka ng storage ng laptop pero mababawi niyo naman yan sa efficiency ng inyong laptop kasi uh, yung speed ng inyong laptop ay talagang mararamdaman yung magbabago right so bubuksan ko na yung laptop niya tanggalin lang natin yung mga screws na nandito Ayan. Okay, so na-remove na natin yung upper panel, yung keyboard. Papansin nyo guys, ang dumi-dumi ng laptop na ito. So, we will have to brush it out first. Okay, so let us now change the hard disk. Tanggalin natin ito. Ayun. Ayun guys, tanggal na. Tatanggalin natin actually guys yung buo na board nito kasi yung kanyang RAM ay nandun sa ilalim. So, let's remove everything. Smooth the battery. Yeah. 
battery is removed malapit na rin palitan palitan ito so lumulobo na let's remove also the connectors here and here tsaka ito magaling natin ito ayan magaling natin ito Okay, this is the exhaust fan. Kailangan na rin linisan. Let's remove the the optical drive. Ito siya. Linisin na talaga sa loob. kanyang board nandito yung kanyang RAM okay so tuloy natin mamaya so, marami marami siya it needs a thorough cleaning so that's what we're going to do today before we put on the upgrade parts okay, so I'm gonna take the motherboard and clean it outside a few minutes later we now have a clean board so let's clean the chassis a few moments later okay so chassis is now clean let's clean the connection of the lcd to the contact cleaner and also the wi-fi so now mm -hmm. these guys are gonna be clean now let's put on this let us now change the ram of this thing change the RAM simply remove that right there and then let's put on the new RAM Okay, so as you can see, it's 8 gigabytes. Previous one. Now all we have to do is to install the motherboard back to its place. And uh, it should go like this. Now the Wi Fi card will be there, like that. And uh, we also have the display cable right over here. Yes. Here it is. Well, I think it's not there. This thing here is in here. Like that. Okay, we have power over there. Okay, so we have a display. And the memory is recognized, it's 8 gigs. Okay, so technically, we are now 
doing fine. Yan, so na recognize na yung ating memory which is 8 GB. Ha. Ah, very nice, di ba? So I'm gonna turn it off, guys. Now, what we're going to do is to install the new SSD sa ating system. As usual, ramos tang ating ilalagay sapagkat ito ay reliable and hindi ganun kamahal. So, Okay, our new SSD is ready. Pero syempre, wala pa itong operating system, guys. So, ayan. Now, what we're going to do I just clean this thing up and then we're good to go a few moments later this panel over here this is the panel for the this is the panel for the mouse and this one goes in here oh uh -oh. yeah okay I'm gonna show then yes let's bring it over like this then I install the keyboard right keyboard is in all right so charger on make charging light is on and i'm gonna get the installer for the operating system and we shall be able to start the installation this is now the operating system. Let's put it in. Switch it on. Yeah, we have power. Okay, so we forgot to turn off the secure boot. Okay, so there you go. Na update na natin sa SSD ng laptop na ito. All right. So mas mabilis na ito. Tingnan niyo naman yung response niya. Yan kumpara naman doon sa uh, dating hard disk. Sa isang pindot mo lang ay nagre-respond na po yan. Wala pang maayos na driver yan. Install ko pa lang yung kumpletong drivers niya pero mapapansin niyo na kung gaano po siya uh, ka-responsive, ano? Okay, so thank you for watching. So bye-bye ninyo kung gusto niyo bumili ng uh, mga parts na ginamit ko dito, ililista ko diyan sa uh, description box ng video na ito at sa comment section. Thank you. God bless.